What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Y to the U to E, and we're here back at High Rev Garage. And today, we're gonna be working on the red eye again. Last time we checked in the last video, got that first oil change done. Now today, time to put that diff brace on. Let's do this. <laughs> So we got the diff brace out by Performance Development. As you can see, it comes with all the bolts, washers. Uh, they even sent me some Loctite, which is really awesome of them. Um, and my last one, if you did see it, it was wall package. Check this out. Look how thick that bad boy is. I mean, that's a uh, right there. CNC billet machine. Thick. Look at that. There's no way my diff, my diff, uh, case will crack with this on you got the rubber uh, sleeve gas here that goes in between they even have a uh, APR bolts so that's pretty neat I mean for the price they gave it to me they're fucking awesome so yeah and last time I checked uh, with this diff brace so if you have a 15 order Hellcat you can use these bolts right here the smaller ones that will thread in to the cross member on the Hellcat because there's pre-drilled hole but anything like 16 and up you have to use these nuts right here passenger and driver side and you have to fish it down your member um, your cross member and you would put the bolts right in like this and you would hold it and I would hold your other piece together so this is a two-piece diff brace so let me see so it'll be onto the transfer case like that. I mean transfer case, the uh, diff brace. And then this would be right like that on top of it. Yeah, just like this. So it'll look like that. There you go. Let's get it on. some of you are asking me why am I doing this um, starting the dip brace on these uh, for all you Hellcat owners or who has Hellcat red eye Dodge Demon uh, Dodge Charger Hellcats same thing for you guys in Hellcat any Hellcat platform any Charger Charger these cars they have a lot of power okay there's, there's nothing wrong with it the diff brace they have Chrysler did an amazing job it's built wonderful it's strong the problem is where it's bolted on to the cross member um when the car uh gets traction to the ground that power spin it vibrates to the cross member and where the diff brace is bolted it tends to how you would say um get stressed too much vibration too much um movement so where it's bolted on again it's not the diff brace that's fucked up it's where it's located. Chrysler did an amazing job. No BS on them. They did great. So what happens, the case starts to crack and then blow up right at the racetrack. So these are well known for that issue. And we're going to sell that diff brace to prevent that from happening. And I also see as a second uh, insurance for the car. Uh, it's weird because warranty will not cover it if it does something were it to happen because you're using a diff brace but in my case i'm protecting my motor i don't want to go back to the dealer so let's put it on all right we got the car up in there jacked up 
Let's head down. Let's get under here. You can see there were a diff right there. Ugh. Here's the red eye diff race. Uh, red eye diff. Sorry. You can see it's a little bit different. It has extra plug, uh, hole, bolts, uh, extra webbing. So this is the same exact diff differential from a demon. So the whole dry train from this red eye is all from the demon. So we're first you're going to take off these 16 millimeter bolt here. And then we're going to take off this 10 bolts first. So let's do that. Mine is a 2019. It doesn't have the pre-drilled holes right here with the thread. So you have to put one of these uh, thread bracket into here. And make sure right here, inside of here. And I'll get somewhere over here. And you don't want to lose this. So what I did, what the performance develop recommend using uh, like a floss. I use a string. So I tied a blue one, blue string. Where is it? Can you see it? Uh, blue string onto it. So I'm gonna put it in here and you gotta have, this is the passion shot. So the thread has to be facing up. And then this is the driver's side facing like this. Thread also facing up. So we gotta slide it in here to get here, slide it in to get there. So if you lose that, you're kind of screwed, so that's why I put a string just to be safe than sorry. So let's go ahead and put it in there inside this member. So it's in the hole. If you look right under, you can see it. My pitch load of string is right there. So that's good. Now we gotta get the other side. All right, so now that we got the inserts in, we're gonna go and torque the two OEM bolts, 16 at 90 pounds, and the three 12s at 42 foot pounds. So we marked it straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. So if we're at the track and want to do my first pass, 
if I see these bolts turn, it means they're not torqued correctly. So I need to retorque it. So it's a straight down line. There you have it. That's how you saw a DRS difference. Now you can finally go to the track. You don't have to worry about anything. That's how you do it, High Rev Garage. Subscribe and like.